Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm just doing this little thing. It's just a thing that I'm working on. Um, so now I'm going to just show you my drone real quick. I'll tell you the good things about it and the bad things about it. Alright, this is it. Pretty much. Got a camera located here on the side underneath here where my finger is. It is where, um, what do you call it? You check your SD card. I apologize about the music in the background. Um, but, um, we thought this is good for like footy. It can't go far, but it's good for like watching footy games through this or recording games. Um, it's a future roll. Um, I got it from DBase online. Shout out to them. But the battery pretty much pops in here. You have your remote, and then these are your lights. So you got. Uh, port and starters, so you've got your reds and then your greens. It's pretty simple, but I'm trying to figure it out at the moment because for some reason there's too much power output coming from the rear. It's only a little the rear and the fronts are going a bit wacky. I think it's from the last time I crashed it into a tree. I have that footage, but I probably, I don't think I should share it because it's kind of, I might. It just depends. Um, what do you call it? Other thing about this, it has a Wi Fi screen that comes with it. Only cost me $147. Australian money, that is. I don't know what that would be, US or Great Britain or But other than that, yeah, um, I'll re next review will be my actual racing RC car. It's not the one that you've seen in drone footage, it's a $980 car. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed, and maybe I might even get to it at the track. I'll see you later. Hello YouTube, my name is Parkboy. Welcome to the channel. This is another review thing. Well, the cons and things about it. But, about the white one, the good thing about it, you can fly it around just around the suburbs you don't have to have a permit and you can record amazing videos with it the bad things are you can't go as you can't go two kilometers it's only like a 500 meter drone um, what else video quality watching it live it's a bit iffy sometimes because it's got an aerial and it interferes with each other um, pros would be you can change the positions so like where 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 you've seen it it can go either where the propeller blades are above it or below it another review today will be this palm drone it's a very tiny drone don't know if you're focusing or not I'm not sure but this drone legit cost me $24 on Gear Beast again. Shout out to them. Good things about this, you can fly it absolutely anywhere you like. You could fly it in your own room, the toilet, the bathroom, you name it. Um, you can't, I don't, I haven't tried flying on the outside, I'm probably not going to because it's that tiny. Um, bad things about it, it doesn't have a camera and the battery doesn't last as long as you think it would. It, it is a long standing battery, I've got to say. It's about 15 minute battery. But, you know, for something this small, it does do its justice. And I got my money's worth out of it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little shenanigan thing that I'm just thinking of. Just try, I'm just trying to pull views here. But, if you need any help getting to the sites to buy any of these, I'll hook you up. Just send me an email at motocross22, no hike, no, all lower caps at outlook.com. All lower caps, guys. 
So just write me an email or even search me up on Facebook. My name's Hayden Clough, as you probably know. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this little shenanigan thing and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and hit that little blue bell icon so it just shows you notifications via email and YouTube. But other than that, peace.